Has anyone seen the cat? They're so cute. Hello. We were looking for you. So this is our new kitten. If you haven't seen a previous video, we got a kitten. <laughs> His name is Oliver and he's like cute. My daughter named him. <laughs> she still lives in New Zealand, but she decided to name him. He's about... Ooh, I'd like to say seven weeks old. He really keeps us on our toes. If you know the backstory, I was meant to bring my cat with me when I moved to Croatia. It was all set in my mind. One vet had passed him, but when we got to the last day of him going and flying out, the vet in Auckland wouldn't let him go. So I was like devastated. And um, we're actually going to get another kitten as well. <laughs> I know. Glutton for punishment. <laughs> So I really haven't been doing very much because the heat wave we're having in Croatia is kind of exhausting without moaning about it. I've never experienced heat like this. It's nearly two o'clock in the afternoon and it's 34 degrees, which may not seem that hot, but you know, <laughs> in the next week or so, it's meant to get even higher. And this just doesn't happen in New Zealand summers. We might get a couple of days, literally, of 31 32 but the heat here is so intense and sometimes my son and i walk to the shop down like a village road and no one is around at midday like no one and because, because everybody's doing the right thing by staying inside and yeah it's not the most clever thing to do go for a walk for like a mile and a half <laughs> heat, my my husband's just saying it's it is, it's dry heat though it's so different than New Zealand. Like I honestly would be going like just beside myself if this was like this in New Zealand because the heat is so different. So my first proper European summer is officially a heat wave, and it's really really intense. So yeah, hence why we've kind of not been doing much because it's just so hot but I do have a little day trip coming up in the next few days so I can't wait to show that to you once I've filmed it of course but yeah so boss our dog has settled in really well I think he really likes it here he goes for one big walk at night when it's cool at about 7 p.m and um, the rest of the day he's just literally lying around too because it's just too hot Oliver, what are you doing? You're so fast. So the other cat we're getting is from a friend and her cat had kittens just before we arrived. So we're just waiting like another week or so before we grab one off her. And he was a little stray that got given to her. So she kind of just put him and with the other kittens and we just said we're like we'll just have him now because he's a bit older and yeah we'll get him as buddy soon so where we're staying doesn't actually have air conditioning so i said to my husband when we buy a house it must have air conditioning and <laughs> i would really like it to have a pool <laughs> because at least now i know what you know the croatian summers are like I did come here last year for the very first time but we came in September and we didn't even have to use a fan like it was still nice and warm but yeah July is certainly <laughs> intense don't get me wrong I'm loving it it's just the whole situation is a huge culture shock and I guess the weather is involved in that too being a culture shock <laughs> because as I say New Zealand just does not get these sort of temperatures and I would like to do a video in the future of just like the whole culture shock experience. 
So the word culture shock isn't such a bad word, it's just a truth because you just, you know, leave what you know to something completely different. And being in my late 50s, I had never been to Croatia before until September last year for seven weeks. So I've never been here in June or July. And yeah, it's certainly an experience. I absolutely love it, don't get me wrong. But I do plan to do a video at some stage about the food and just the cultural differences and things like that if you'd be interested in the price of things, you know, did I realise what things were going to cost, etc like that. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to doing that. I'm just thinking about it and working out the format that I want to do it in. The hardest part for the weather at the moment is sleeping at night. So we have fans and Croatia had this, have this really clever invention I don't know if they invented it, but I've never seen it with sale in New Zealand before. And it's like this netting and you just tape it to your windows to stop mosquitoes coming in and you can sleep with the windows open. I, I'm not saying that everybody can sleep with their windows open because of safety, but I don't know what we would have done without this stuff for the windows because we're up quite high so we can sleep with the windows open. And that has literally saved me. <laughs> but I think if I had known it was going to be this hot, I probably would have said to my husband, let's go in September. But I guess I would have had to experience the summer at some stage. So at least now, before we buy a house, I kind of know what I'm in for. So I can absolutely, definitely get one with air conditioning. So I'm really looking forward to the heat <laughs> getting better, cooler, and my first ever winter. And um, of course, I've never experienced a cold Christmas before, and I love Christmas, and I love decorating my house for Christmas. So fingers crossed we might have a house before then. You never know. And yeah, I'm really loving, I'm really loving living in Croatia. And just the heat guys if where you live if you get hotter i know i feel bad moaning but i'm just not used to this mm -hmm.